Hi there. Let's talk about friendships today. My name is Jen and I'm a 55 year old mother of two young adult children, a teacher of 26 years, and I am an autistic ADHDer. About a year and a half ago, I found out that I am autistic and that's given me a whole new perspective on my life and why I experienced life the way that I have so far. And it's giving me some knowledge into how I will likely go about my life for the next, hopefully, 55 years. That being said, let's get back to the topic at hand today, which is friendships. I have always had a, an odd um, experience with friends. Um, now that I have the understanding that I'm autistic and I can use that as context for my life previously, um, I, I, I can see where my struggles were. I always felt like an outsider. Um, I always had friends and I was always spending time with kids. I had other girls come over to my house after school and I would go to other people's homes after school and play and gossip and talk about boys and watch MTV and play with our Atari. I'm a Gen Xer, remember, 55. <laughs> um, but I still always felt kind of on the periphery, so to speak. Um, never quite feeling like I got exactly what was going on with the people that I spent time with. Despite that, I maintained friendships for decades um, and I'm still have, oops, sorry about that, I still have some really close friends now from when I was a child. But now that I'm an adult, um, I have started to understand that I don't necessarily need friends. I need friendship. I need um, to know that there are people out in the world who um, are thinking about me and who care about me and who connect with me. But what's different now with the context that I have about who I am and how my brain works is that I mostly understand that I, I need me. <laughs> I need to spend my time exploring me and exploring the depths of myself, exploring my inner world. I need to be spending my time not making the priority building friendships and um, always doing things for others because I do have a like a, a I guess I could call it like a gas tank you know or a, or a battery of my own and it gets emptied or uses up its charge quickly. It always has. And because that battery gets used up so quickly, there's often very little left for me. It's not that I don't want to, you know, get to know other people and love on other people and give to others what I want for myself. It's just that for me, sometimes it the amount of energy and focus that it takes is um, is more than I can more than I can manage. So as an adult, the way that that's manifested for me is that there will be times when I am like the ADHD part of my brain is full on friendship, <laughs> full on let's grow and nurture and love on these people and I am texting and I am spending time with them and I am thinking about them whenever I go out I might see something that reminds me of that person and I'll take a photo and send it or maybe if I can afford it at the time I'll buy something for my friend and make friends and make sure that they receive it. So there's times like that and then there's times when I have burned out and I just want to kind of be a hermit and sit here in my home with the beautiful trees outside and comfortable chair and my environment that I love being in 
and sometimes I just want to be here alone and quiet. And that might be true for people who um, are not neurodivergent too, but the the experience of it from a neurodivergent, autistic, or ADHD perspective feels a little different. Let me explain that to you. So uh, I'm going to be a teacher for a moment. <laughs> In the word autism, there's the root, aut, A-U-T, which is the same root that's in autonomy, which means, you know, being able to care for yourself. It's the same root that's in author, which is one writer. It's the same root that's in automobile, which is one driver. So with autism, that root is like oneness. I tend to be most comfortable in my oneness, in myself. I tend to be most comfortable in my internal world. It's safe. I mostly understand it. And when I don't understand something in my internal world, I get to figure it out on my own time. The external world for me, being an autistic, sometimes feels dangerous, sometimes feels very unknown, sometimes feels like people are speaking a language that I don't understand. So because my, my experience of the world is, is that, is auto-autistic, it's centered on me. To people who haven't had this experience, don't have this experience, my oneness can come off being narcissistic sometimes. And I think that in my lifetime, that might be why sometimes I struggled with friendships. Because it seemed as if I was being selfish. Now, had I known for the last 54 years that I was autistic, there would be context to explain my behavior or the way that I communicate. But I didn't have that then. So um, I'm able to now realize that that um, experience of mine might likely be why some of my friendships didn't work out why even now some of um, my, my lifelong friends that I've had, why maybe we've fallen by the wayside. And I'm actually okay with that. It's okay. I don't feel the need to repair and explain and defend myself to anybody. Um, I really want to go forward from this point. Um, I feel like the people in my life who have left my life by choice if they're curious to know what's going on or why that happened to our friendships, they can always come and ask me. But I don't feel the need to contact people and defend myself and explain who I am. But to the people I've met recently, um, I guess that's why I'm making this video because in, in the time that I'm taking to learn about and understand myself and my brain and how I experience the world, I, I want you, my new friends and my, my tribe, to know that um, when I check out or when I don't respond or if I don't make videos for a period of time or if I don't answer comments or if I am just generally not available, it's because my battery is dead. <laughs> um, and it's because I need to take some time to process, to be alone, to be with my own oneness. I can't be a good friend to anybody if I am empty inside. So I, I guess I want to say that 
although friendships are a blessing and such a true gift, for me, I don't feel like they are my priority anymore. I am my priority. I am living life and I need to be, I need to understand myself in order to understand you. I need to prioritize my needs before I can prioritize your needs. I need to live in this world free and happy and content. And for me, that takes a little more work. <laughs> um, so the bottom line is, and I, I guess I'll end the video here because my brain is starting to spiral into all sorts of areas that um, bet, are better safe for another time. For me, I don't need friends. I'm grateful for you and I'm grateful for my friends. But what I need more than anything is to just have a fabulous relationship with myself. And if I can give that to you, if I can give that um, experience to you, if I can teach you to prioritize your needs, then I think that that can be the makings of a beautiful relationship for anybody. Yeah. I think a lot of us forget that um, we have to take care of ourselves in order to be good for others. So now that I'm in this place at 55, about halfway through my life, knock on wood, <laughs> um, it's going to be about me going forward. I will continue to love the people that have decided to be a part of my life. And um, I'll be available to you when I have the spoons to be available to you. And if you're part of the neurodivergent community, you understand what the spoons are. Thank you for being part of my tribe. I look forward to sharing with you more about the inner workings of my neurodivergent brain. And I'll see you next time. Bye.